Hey folks, this is second video for this week's um, exercises and we are going to be working with the vanishing point filter, um, how to use a vanishing point filter. And um, the first thing I want you to do is open up the Trantrax um, image that I provided for you in JetNet. Um, and it looks a little something like this, a little bit like what you see in the actual PDF I've uploaded for this week as well. Um, not exact, but it looks just about the same. So we've got a background image, and of course you want to double click that to make it a normal layer. Okay, and it says layer zero. That's what you should be seeing once you open up this image. The next thing you want to do is to start, um, open the layers panel, make sure that's open. And then we want to create a new layer. Go ahead and do a new layer. Say okay. It's located right above layer zero. Okay, so make sure the new layer in the layers panel is selected, which it is. And then we're going to move forward and choose filter, vanishing point. Filter, vanishing point. Okay. And so now the dialog box for the vanishing point um, appears. Um, it's quite big. I'm going to make it small so it fits within the screen recording window. There we go. And um, your first step is to select a perspective plane to modify. So make sure the create plane tool is selected. Um, and that is this tool right here and it is that is selected and the next thing you want to do is click the four points of perspective plane um, and that would be obviously I'm going to right here right here and then we go forward to well, we'll make it here and then right there. There you go. A grid forms between the four points, as you can see. Um, now we're going to select the brush tool in the vanishing point dialog box, um, and that would be. Um, not in the tools panel, but in the vanishing point dialog box, which is where we're at. And the next thing we're going to do, um, you can magnify the image if you need to. So we've got that selected. And now um, the brush tip normally becomes a circle. Um, but we're going to, we notice how it's a little bit different. Um, so we're gonna, now we're going to drag the pointer to paint the image. And you can always, you know, here we go. Following the lines of the plane is easier than it would be without the vanishing point filter. Select the stamp tool in the vanishing point dialog box, which is then over here. Hold down the Alt or the Option key, Alt in, in Windows, um, Option in Mac, and click within this perspective plane to select an area for cloning. There we go. Drag the image to clone the, air, the area. And you can see, depending on your brush size, you can certainly clone whatever areas you think you want here.
we're just creating an effect here now. So it's sort of like a content aware tool. It really does give you an effect. of perspective and mimics the perspective based on those lines. So when you have completed your changes, click OK um, to close the vanishing point filter dialog box and apply the changes to the image if you want. Um, now all these changes are in a layer, so if you don't like it, you don't need to keep it. But I find this to be um, somewhat interesting when you're trying to create a new type of feel to an image, um, adding perspective where things um, or textures getting close to you um, get a little bit larger and open and it bases the vanishing point on a particular texture that's found within the image, which is um, can be very useful. And that is all about adding um, a vanishing point um, using the brushes and cloning within the vanishing point. Uh, filter. I'll see you in the next video.